Fabio, here we are for the, the farewell interview. Um, is it kind of strange being back at Motspur Park for the last time? It's not strange because obviously I've been here for such a long time and it's like home in it, so, but like you said, it's the, the last time, so, and we never know, we never know what happens, so, um, but yeah, it's a bit, a bit strange. And you say you, you've been here for so long, it's almost 10 years you've been at the club, so it's almost like you've, you've grown up here really, haven't you? So, like, as like most people know, I come from Portugal, but I've done like most of my um, teenage life here, so yeah, it's been, it's been great 10 years, well, nearly 10 years. And yeah, I couldn't ask for anything better. So yeah. Going back to Sheffield United, you seemed quite emotional at full time. Was that partly the result and partly knowing it's the last time playing in front of the, the Fulham fans as a Fulham player? Yeah, it was a bit of both to be fair. Like it didn't the game didn't go how how we wanted it to go. Obviously we always want to win and um the result as well didn't really help. But um, um yeah, it was just a bit emotional to be playing in front of the fans for the last time. And um, it was great to hear them saying my name at um, at the end of the game. Even though we, we lost and we lost by four goals, they just kept cheering on the whole game. And to hear my name at the end, it was just yeah, a great way to top it off. And, and on a more positive note, if you look at your last home game, Luton, what I mean, what a send-off that was. Yeah, that couldn't have gone any better, to be fair. Like, we won the game. The way we won the game, the way we played, and obviously to be crown champions that game. Yeah, I could have asked anything better. It's just amazing. Yeah, it's one of those, if you had to write a perfect script for that game, I mean, you scoring, Mitro getting his record, us winning the, the title in that start is dream stuff. Yeah, it could have, like I said, it couldn't have gone any better. Um, oh, it's just amazing. And like celebrating after the game, that's what made it even more special with like the fans and like my family on the pitch, everyone's family there, everyone together. It just showed how close as a club we are. So, yeah. I suppose a few of the boys, it, it seems like it, it meant a lot to all you lot to have uh, your families there with you. Yeah, of course. Like for me, family is the most important. And um, having my family on the pitch, um, not just for when we got promoted, but to be champions and have been able to take pictures with them with the trophy. It might not seem like a lot, but it was just everything to me. So, uh, yeah. That was your 12th Fulham goal. Have you got a favourite out of them? Um, <laughs> probably that one. Yeah, that one, because obviously it's the last one and there's the last one from the home fans. Um, and then, like I said, like hearing them cheering my name after the goal, was, yeah, I couldn't ask for anything better than that. So, yeah. That, that's kind of a classic fab goal as well, sort of open your body up far yeah. corner. <laughs> it's what I've been practising on, um, yeah, just getting in that position and just slowing it. There's no need to put much power behind it, so as long as it goes in the direction I want it to go, so yeah. Anyone who's watched games this season or, or watched any press conferences, um, it's the manager clearly adores you here. Um, th there seems to be a special bond there. Yeah, um, obviously he's Portuguese, so that kind of helps as well. And um, the fact that he's always demanding on like on me, like during games and training sessions, even more. Like he's always making sure that I'm on it because I feel like he knows <clears throat> he knows that I can achieve big things, and uh, he just pushes me, and I'm just so thankful for him and not just only him, just everyone, the whole staff who have helped me so much. So, yeah, thank, thanks to them. Yeah, how good has it been uh, for your game and your development having a, a full season under Marco and his team? Ah, it's been good. Like I said, they've helped me every day and uh, they keep pushing me, making sure I'm always like concentrating and uh, always on, like, on the line with like my extras or in training, making sure I do the right things. And, uh, yeah, I couldn't, couldn't ask for any any better set of like staff members so yeah it's not just the staff there uh, you and your teammates seems to, there just seems to be a, a great relationship with all you boys yeah um not me with not just me with like everyone else just everyone else as a, as a whole as a group it's just it's just good because um everyone's just collective and we're like a, a big family i know that's a bit of like a cliche thing to say but that's how we are on and off the pitch and um since the first day i've come here like chairman with the first team not like this season just prior and they've helped me, like all the players who've been here a long time, like Tim Ree, Maka Hector, Niskins, Cabano, like all of them, they've just helped me so much. So yeah, um, they're a big reason to why I'm here today. So yeah. And when did you say your goodbyes to the lads? Uh, <laughs> after the game, it was a bit emotional because obviously um, three, of them, three of them were there, three of them were missing. So I got to so share a special moment with like the whole team because obviously they knew it was, <clears throat> they knew it was going to be the last one. So, um, yeah. I just spoke to them and the day before the game, like we spoke in training like, as a team and um, yeah, it was just good to, to be around everyone. Was it going back to January, there was talk of uh, the move going through on deadline day and you sort of being loaned back to Fulham. 
Was it was it important to you whatever happened that you saw the season through with Fulham? Yeah, um, that's one thing I, I chose to do, and uh, obviously the club as well. Um, they said that um, they wanted me to stay, and I think it was the right decision to do if the move if the move went through, um, and uh, because it was going to be a, like a big step. And uh, being able to see the season out, it was, it was good because, like, look what, what we've achieved and how much I've grown. So, yeah, I'm glad it, it happened like that. And if you're going to leave a club, leaving them after playing a big role in them winning a title that gets them promoted to the Premier League, that's got to be a pretty satisfying way to go. Yeah, of course. Um, like, regardless of, like, everything I've done this season, um, there's always room for improvement. And the main objective was to, to bring Fulham back to where they belong, which is the Premier League. And that's been the main objective, like, from the get-go get promoted and then get um, be champions because that's the main important thing and um, luckily uh, we were able to, to do it uh, through our hard work so yeah. And throughout the season I don't think your commitment could ever be questioned like when we lost you could see the hurt on your face and likewise when you were scoring or we were winning you could see how much it meant to you. Um, you, you were 100% invested in how Fulham did this season. Of course, like like I said it was the main thing to, to do was which was to get Fulham back to the Premier League and I'm glad you said that to be fair and um, when we lose, you can tell that I'm like hurt because I don't like losing at all, especially for Fulham as well because like the fans and the the team have given me so much, so I feel like they need to repay them back um, through my goals and my contributions. You can tell like the way I celebrate goals, it's like it means a lot to me. So yeah, I'm glad like you and other Fulham fans, I'm sure that like been able to notice that. So yeah. Did you speak to, um, obviously, I'm, not, I'm sure you don't need much convincing to join a club like Liverpool, but do you, uh, obviously, Harvey Elliott went through something similar. Have you swung to him at all in the lead up to this? Um, a bit, because obviously he's got his own season to, th- to think think about and I've got my own, like, I don't really want to go off track. Like, I wanted to be focused, fully focused on Fulham and um, making sure that we get promoted. So we kind of spoke a bit, um, not into depth, he just asked me how I was and I asked him how he was and, yeah, we've a bit back and forth about like how our season's going and just to k- keep going. Um, but yeah, I haven't really spoken to him much, so yeah. Uh, fixtures are out in mid-June, I think it is. Um, Fulham-Liverpool, are you going to be keeping an eye out for those ones, I bet? <laughs> of course, that's the first thing I'm going to look at. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, we'll see what happens. And just uh, throughout the season, obviously, concentrating on your own team, your own game, but keeping one eye on Fulham? Of course, always. Um, yeah, like I said, always. I'm going to be looking out for, for everyone. Everyone here individually and as a collective, I hope Fulham do well and... I hope they, they can achieve the big things that I know we're capable of doing. So, yeah. And obviously the last couple of times we've gone up, uh, we, we've struggled in the Prem, but as, as you well know, the, the, the confidence around here at the moment is, is really high. Um, how do you think we can actually do in the Prem next season? Like you said, the confidence is high, and as, as it should be, because there's a, group, a great group of staff members and an like, amazing group of players um, who would give anything for the club. And I'm sure that they will give everything for the club. And if we play the way we've played without no fear, I'm sure Fulham will, will stay up. So, yeah. And just finally, have you, have you got a message to the Fulham fans? <laughs> thank you. Uh, let me set up for this one. <laughs> I just want to say thank you for everything they've done for me um, on and off the pitch. Um, on the pitch, singing my name, keep cheering me on. And off the pitch, like greeting me and uh, even my family. Like we have fans going up to my family, saying hello, speaking to them praising me and yeah it just makes me and my family happy um like there's obviously been ups and downs this season and um i've got some messages some great messages from great fans and some others are not so great but it's football and i understand um but yeah i just want to say a big thank you to all the Fulham fans and uh, without them i wouldn't be able to to be in the position i am today so thank you so much well, thank you for coming in on, on a on a on your holiday to talk to us um and it's been a great season Honestly, wish you all the best in the future. Thank you.